So a blood moon is coming. While this might be a sight to watch for some people, but can be a little spooky for some others. In reality, it's just the result of Earth fully eclipsing the moon for a period of time. But some say that it can have effects on your physical body and your moods, maybe mentally that it can affect you. And it's pretty normal. So if you're a sensitive soul, you might have been experiencing some of the changes already. Okay, first let me explain what is a blood moon. A blood moon occurs when the moon is in total lunar eclipse. It happens roughly like twice a year, but this one is particularly important as it's the longest one in the century. The reason that the moon changes color is that when it's in total eclipse, it's in the Earth's shadow. A slight bit of light from the daily sunsets and sunrises we have on the Earth means that the bit of the light that falls on the surface of the moon makes it change color to a red, brownish, almost blood shade. Hence, its nickname. Now this year's lunar eclipse is expected to be specially intense as it'll be the longest of the century. It's expected to last about an hour and 23 minutes. Eclipse will be precisely at 11.44 p.m. IST in India. So you can calculate wherever that you are for the eclipse there. Although there is no scientific evidence to prove, uh, but it's believed by many that the gravitational forces in action at this exact moment can have a pretty big effect on people's behavior. And as I said, if you are too sensitive, then I bet that you've started feeling that already. If you know anything about astrology, uh, you know that moon plays a big part as well. Full moons are known in the astrological community, affect certain zodiac signs. In various ways. Blood moons can have similar effects, you know, changing moons, creating rifts and lines of communication, drumming up emotions. You can feel all of that and that's normal. So the real question is how is it going to affect you? So this blood moon is expected to send emotions into overdrive. Passion will reach its peak. Anger will be more present. You may be feeling sad, frustrated, or overwhelmed too. You know, it's also believed by some of the astrologers that a blood moon can send all of your emotions into a fury-inducing spin. And apparently, the exact impact the blood moon can have on your mood will vary depending upon your star sign. So experts in this field suggest that if you are an Aquarius, Capricorn, or Leo, you will be particularly struggling with your emotions on Friday, on the 27th of July. But you don't have to feel bad if you are one of those. It is going to be affecting everyone. Some people describe the blood moon as an emotionally challenging eclipse influenced by the planet Mars. Mars' anger and frustration could easily turn to reckless actions because of a harsh aspect to Uranus. But a more gentle influence from Saturn will make it a little easier to calm down and some fixed stars give patience and decisiveness in a crisis. So the best way to deal with these intense emotions is to remain calm. So we should actually keep this advice of being calm in our mind for the following two weeks because the effect is going to be there because of the solar eclipse is going to be still active. You know, and some people would be affected the other way, like affected in their behavior, in their patterns of sleep too, which could in turn impact your mood. This has been also proven in a study because even melatonin, the hormone that tells you that it's time to go to sleep, drops very low around this time of the lunar cycle. So sleep disruption has been proven to affect our moods as well and it can be affected for some people. And there is no proven way that I can tell you that it affects you physically, that a lot of people might tell you that you have to keep your body hydrated, but that's a given. If your body is hydrated, then of course your body functions properly and you're able to take decisions better 
thus the mood can be uplifted. So there are plenty of ways that you can keep your mood uplifted. First of all, breathe, breathe easy, calm down, light an incense stick or burn an aroma candle. Some people say that you should not eat and you should not drink during the eclipse, which is okay. I can back it up because the gravitational force is too high and it can affect your body. So there are only two effects majorly that can happen. One is your mood, another is your sleep. So you need to take care of these two factors for the next two weeks as well. That's what my takeaway will be. Another thing, people have a lot of superstitions around this blood moon. Uh, the other day I was watching a video on YouTube and it said the world is going to end uh, because of the blood moon. Uh, there's a sign of apocalypse and in many parts of the world pregnant women are not supposed to go out. I would not support that because that's not true. Uh, pregnant women can go out and if you're a pregnant woman and someone's telling you that, trust me, nothing's going to happen to your baby. Your baby is going to be fine. Breathe easy. Have positive thoughts. And if, yes, if you want to take some rest, why not? You're pregnant. You need some rest. So go ahead. Take rest. Don't go out. But don't be scared. Just know that it's an activity that happens in the universe. It's beautiful. Adore it. Watch it. It'll be a sight. Don't go into superstitions. Do witness it. It's like the longest in the century and you get to see it. That's wonderful. All right, from today to the next two weeks, keep calm and breathe easy. See you again.